Dr. Stacia Woodcock joins our next Global Cannabis Research Summit live August 12th in Princeton, New Jersey. And in case you missed it on our last online event. So when we talk about the formulation of hemp CBD products, you can extract CBD from the cannabis plant in several different ways. The first is the oil extracted from the plant naturally as it is. And we call that full spectrum oil. That means it contains that small amount of THC. It contains terpenes, which have been clinically shown to have a medicinal effect in the body. It contains other minor cannabinoids and it contains CBD. So it's full spectrum. It contains everything that exists in that plant. The other side of that is a CBD isolate, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Everything else has been removed other than the CBD compound. That's it, that's all it contains. And a lot of CBD isolate products are also synthetic. They're produced from yeast or by, by other methods that don't have anything to do with the cannabis plant at all. They're completely synthetic. And so a lot of CBD isolate that we're seeing is actually synthetic CBD. And then somewhere in the middle is broad spectrum, which is basically a full spectrum oil where the THC has been removed. So it still contains those terpenes, those other cannabinoids, um, but it doesn't contain any THC. Now there's a reason that the formulation matters, and I'm gonna go into a couple of studies that we have to explain why, and why it's so important when these studies are done that we talk about what form of CBD is being used. So there's an interesting study that was done on sort of the bell-shaped dosing curve of CBD isolate, and it compared isolated CBD versus a, can a CBD-rich cannabis. It only has 1% THC, so it's not hemp, because um, it's more than that 0.3%, but it 1% is next to nothing when it comes to actual amount of CBD. Um, it's, it's largely CBD-rich. And when they compared the two and the levels of um, tissue necrosis factor alpha after treatment, what they saw is that with CBD isolate, there was a dose response that stopped halfway through. So you see this decrease in TNF alpha, and then as the dose increased, the benefit sort of stopped. So it's this bell-shaped dosing response curve where greater doses of CBD did not lead to greater results. Whereas with the CBD-rich cannabis, the full spectrum cannabis oil, it wasn't an isolate, we saw the exact opposite. As the dose increased, the TNF alpha levels continued to go down. And this is one of the nuances that when we're looking at studies makes a huge difference in outcomes and applications of the study is to know exactly what form of CBD we're looking at and studying in these patients because you can have a very different outcome using an isolate than you can have with a full spectrum or broad spectrum product. Join us at the next Global Cannabis Research Summit August 12th for a top speaker lineup at the New Jersey Hospital Association Conference Center in Princeton. Register at CannabisResearchSummit.com.